Hi, my name is Derek Silva, Research Analyst here with Infotech Research Group. Today we're going to be talking about evaluating cloud storage solutions and how to speed up the migration process. You've hopefully read through the developing a cloud storage strategy solution set already and know what types of use cases Infotech sees cloud storage being beneficial in, along with some of the names of some vendors you can start looking at. In case you haven't read the solution set, Infotech believes there are three use cases that are particularly suited for cloud storage, those being as a backup or archiving target, as primary storage for a company already leveraging processing infrastructure as a service, and as storage for web content. However, before you even begin to assess cloud storage for backup or archiving, Infotech highly recommends you assess your existing backup architecture. In all reality, the key business value of backup is the ability to restore critical data with an acceptable amount of downtime. So you first need to figure out what your recovery time objective and restore point objectives are before evaluating alternatives to your existing architecture. If you need to be able to restore your whole server room within a 36 hour period and simply can't do it with the amount of bandwidth available, attempting to do a full restore from the cloud just won't work. In a case where cloud services are still desired, you can look at a solution where you restore from your cloud storage service to a processing compute cloud. When evaluating cloud storage for any purpose, you need to focus on some key criteria like security and compliance. Don't even begin to evaluate cloud storage vendors that don't support encryption or don't provide you with control over the private keys. Also, concentrate your efforts on those that have been audited to comply with ISO 27001, SSAE 16, or SAS 70 Type 2. Access method. There are still cloud storage providers who provide awkward methods for uploading and downloading files like FTP or simply proprietary protocols. Focus instead on vendors that let you access their storage through standards like REST, HTTP, or SOAP APIs. In terms of pricing, there are providers who will still nickel and dime you for every little thing you do, such as puts, gets, uploading, downloading, multiple storage pricing tiers, etc. Find a vendor that provides clear, easy to understand pricing and will break it down on a monthly invoice too. There are some other things to take into consideration like support, service level agreements, and of course, where the company is based plus where your data will be stored. That is a key issue for organizations that want to put sensitive or confidential data in a cloud storage service. So take a look at the storyboard for some specific recommendations around that. As for getting your data to the cloud, there are some ways to help ease the time it's going to take to complete your first full backup and any incremental ones as well. There are now several asynchronous WAN optimization solutions and virtual WAN op appliances that will compress and deduplicate your data at your end, shortening the length of time required to move that first terabyte or two from weeks to days. An example of vendors providing these types of solutions are Ariaka, Riverbed, Certion, Silverpeak, NetX, and Expand Networks. Asynchronous solutions should work in almost every instance where you're uploading data to a cloud storage service. On the other hand, you'll need a cloud server instance and a compute cloud in order to take advantage of the same technology when we're storing files. Dedupe does exactly what it sounds like. It eliminates redundant data on a given storage media. So as data is stored to disk, duplicate blocks of data are identified and instead of writing the duplicate block to the disk, a much smaller pointer is inserted in its place. Obviously, implementing this at the business's end before uploading backups to a cloud storage service will help minimize the amount of data copied. So to recap, don't consider cloud storage as a backup solution without first reassessing your backup architecture, recovery time objective, and restore point objectives. Spend your time and effort only evaluating cloud storage vendors that actually meet your business requirements, especially around key criteria like security and compliance, access methods, and pricing. Take a look at ways to speed up the data migration process like newer asynchronous WAN optimization solutions or WAN op vendors offering virtual appliances that can be deployed in a cloud. Thanks for joining me today and for more detailed inf information, please see our solution set entitled Develop a Cloud Storage Strategy.